Hello! This video will inform about some settings in ASHES that are important in the course TEP4175 Design of a Wind Turbine at MTNU. So when you open ASHES, this is what you see. Usually we use RNA only as our template model. RNA stands for Rotor Nacelle Assembly, which means it comprises the nacelle and all its assemblies, which are parts such as the generator, the hub, blades, and etc. We double click on it to open it, and what we then see is this. Here we can use the cursor to drag the turbine around or to zoom in. As we can see, there are different panes or windows in ashes. We have the parts pane, parameters pane, and the sensors pane. The sensors pane will later on result in some graphs. First, we can see that the environment is clicked on. Further, further on, we can click on atmosphere, and here we can change the density or the air temperature. Right now, it is set to SSL as default which means standard sea level properties, which we will use. When we click on RNA, there are some parameters that we need to change. First of all, in this course, we only use a PMSG radial generator, which stands for Permanent Magnet Synchronous Generator. We click on it. Further on, we have this field called transmission, and here we can choose between direct drive and geared. This means if there is a gearbox. If we have a gearbox, then we have a geared uh, generator, but in this uh, course we don't have a gearbox, and therefore it is a direct drive. A part that is more of our interest is the RNA. Here we can change important components. First of all, we can change the generator type. As default, Ashes has set the generator type to variable speed. This means that the generator can operate at a wide range of RPMs. In our course, the RPM is fixed, and therefore we use permanent magnet synchronous generator which can be found under PMSG radial. When it comes to transmission, this is a question about whether or not we have a gearbox in our system. In our course, we don't have a gearbox, which means that the relationship between the uh, rotational speed, the rotor speed and the generator speed is one to one, and therefore it is a direct drive. We apply the changes. Further on, we can change the geometry. We can change the base height, which is the height from the rotor here and down to the ground. We can also change the tilt angle, which is the angle the blades are tilted from the horizontal plane. For example, if I change this value to 20 degrees and apply the changes, you see that the blades point more upwards. One can also find this under the user manual, manual on ashes. And here you can see the tilt angle. When it comes to blade pitch sheen, it is fixed. This is because uh, in our course, the uh, wind turbine is printed by a 3D printer and the blades are at a fixed angle, which means we cannot pitch it towards the wind when we want to with the pitch controller. Therefore, again, it is fixed. Further on, we can move down to the rotor. Here we can change the 
blade type. You can change the number of blades or Z, which is two. We apply the change. And then you can also choose a different cone angle. For example, with 10 degrees. Enter. You see how the planes cone. This can also be found under the usual manual. Here you see that is the angle from the vertical axis.